praise be to God. For today's meditation, let's turn our Bible pages to Luke chapter 6 verses 1 to 11. Luke chapter 6 verses 1 to 11. These verses are split into two main portions. Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath, healing on the Sabbath. From these verses, we can see Jesus is giving two good examples to us. I would like to reflect on the two main points, that is, Jesus is a rest giver, Jesus is a healer. Jesus is a rest giver, Jesus is a healer. When we see from the verses 1 to 5, Jesus gives a clear understanding of Sabbath day. He keeps Sabbath and has followers of Jesus, we should follow the same. From this passage, Jesus doesn't say or end the practice of Sabbath, but he clarifies it and makes it clear to us that what the Sabbath is and what not the Sabbath is. Sabbath is not a day of burden rules. When we add rules to God's way, we are creating rules of burden. Rather, God gives us a day of rest each week. He is a rest giver. Trying to do Sabbath in a right way should not stress us out. But it doesn't mean that it should not be a day of no rules. Bible itself gives us the rules we must have on the day of Sabbath, which gives us rest without stress. Sabbath is a day for boundaries that are liberal. Sabbath is a day to have our needs met. It is a day to meet our spiritual and emotional needs by filling our hearts and minds by spending time in prayer and reading Bible. Jesus is a Sabbath rest. He restores us and takes away all our burdens. The second main point to which I would like to reflect is Jesus is a healer. From the verses 6 to 11, we understand that Sabbath is a day to do good things. We can see from this passage that on one more Sabbath day, Jesus is healing a person. Healing to save a life is not bad, rather it is good and a responsibility and duty. So here Jesus decides to show the purpose and the rich meaning and example of Sabbath day. Sabbath day is not a day to do nothing, but by doing so, we are doing evil. By failing to rescue a life, we are actually destroying a life. When Jesus was saving life on the Sabbath day, he was doing more than healing a man's hand. He was healing and making whole the man himself so that he was healed not only of the illness of the hand, but of the shame of his personality too. So by doing so, Jesus is showing that what is lawful and just should be done on the Sabbath day. So let's pray to God to teach us to follow his path every day to purify us so that it springs a good heart within us to do good things, to show compassion and mercy on others, and to understand that Sabbath is not a matter of human regulations, but to do what is lawful, good, and right. May God's grace be with us all.